Good morning. Good morning. Hello, everybody. Welcome to my demo day. My name is Tara Lynn with the Painted Cicada. Hello. Um, I am going live today uh, on my page. Ooh, there's my notification that I'm going live um, on my page in the group online paint night and on YouTube. Um, for a while, I have been struggling with uh, not going live because it it's been kind of stressful coming up with what to do and where you know what medium to do it and how to teach it so i just decided it would be super fun to um go live once a week uh so i'll be going live every friday and i'm just gonna have a free fun easy demo with some of the supplies i've got hanging around at my desk and just see what we can create and um I have been super inspired by tulips lately. So um, where I am, I'm in Cincinnati and uh, we've been getting just a taste of spring. And so we've got tulips all over the place. And um, I am a part of um, a flower painting club. Uh, I do a lot of florals and that's kind of my thing. Florals and vines and botanicals. Uh, is what I really enjoy. So I'm in this painting club and uh, the month of April is all tulips. And so I've been crazy about tulips. And so I think that's what I want to do today. Um, I, because I make a lot of art, um, not only do I do it for myself, I do it to sell and I do it to teach. So um, I like to work in journals because uh, they're, it's an inexpensive way. You know, for example, I think this one's got, how many does this have? Yeah, this one's got 62 pages. So instead of using 62 canvases, um, I like to work in a journal. So um, I do a lot in my journal here, but you can easily work on paper, you can work on canvas, just grab something to create. One of my uh, favorite things to do um, is use an old cereal box or an old piece of cardboard. You really can create on just about anything and when you put it in a frame, nobody knows any different. So I've got my journal here. I'm gonna be painting tulips. So the first thing I'm going to do is just make a nice clean edge. So I've got this, this is just painter's tape and I'm just going to make a nice clean edge. This keeps me from making a giant mess and I also like the way it looks at the end when I get to peel up the tape. So if you don't have painter's tape, no big deal. Um, I think today, mainly I'm going to be using acrylic paint. Um, I've got a stamp pad here. I'll probably do something with my stamp pad and ink. But first I'm just going to start and create a fun little background. Uh, let's see what colors I have here at my desk. I've got a phthalo green. My desk is such a mess. I need to work on this. All right, phthalo green. What can we have? I kind of want that to transition to a nice blue. I like green and blue. Let's see. All right, phthalo green, and I'll have it transition to phthalo blue, and I'll mix that with a little bit of white. <sighs> All right. Hi, Gail. How are you? Let me, there, I'll take my face off so you can see the, the painting a little bit bigger. All right. 
The first thing I'm going to do, um, since I'm working on paper and it's absorbent, I didn't, sometimes I can put down um, gesso and that will prime the surface. Uh, but what I'm going to do today, just to help the paint move a little bit, is I, since I'm working on paper, I'm just going to add a little bit of water. If you're working on canvas, you do not have to do that at all. It's already primed with gesso. So this just kind of helps the paint move a little bit when the paper is so absorbent. All right, so that was just water. And I don't know, I've got turquoise here. Maybe I'll play with this a little bit too. All right, so I'm going to start with this white. I'm going to grab some of the salo green and I'm just going to mix up kind of a I don't want it to be minty. I want it to be green, but I don't want it to be too dark because I'm making tulips and tulips are kind of springy. So I want a little heavier on the white than I wanted, but that's okay. We will go with the flow. So I'm just going to create kind of a, um, just a background here. I kind of want it to transition from that green to this blue. Ooh, that's a really pretty blue. I like that. I'm just going to apply the paint just so that it doesn't dry. I'm going to spritz it with water. So there's no right or wrong way to do this. I'm just kind of mixing these colors a little bit out from the center here. Really any background will do. I want some nice bright tulips, so I went for a darker background. Ooh, on camera it all looks the same color. I assure you in person here it is not. Hi how are you? So glad you could hop on. All right, I'm fairly satisfied with that background. I wish it showed up on camera better. It's so weird that the camera does that. So in person, um, my eyes definitely see a nice transition from this green. Um, the center here is the same color and then it transitions out to blue. It's just really weird to see on camera. So anyway, the idea is just paint a background. I'm going to dry this. I 
is it spring wherever if you're watching let me know is it spring yet where you are and what is your favorite spring flower i'm painting tulips today but irises are definitely my fave this is drying let me make sure that I am I'm so bad about making sure my link is always in the right places so let me double check that real quick All right, thank you for your patience. Shoo! How oh, is your garden growing? That is wonderful. We've got, um, I've got a few irises that have not bloomed yet, but they are growing. And then I've got some little, um, like really small daffodils that have bloomed, um, but they are blooming in a patch of weeds. So I need to get that taken care of. And then we have a really pretty rose garden that my husband takes care of. And uh, they are starting, the stems are starting to, we cut them down last year. They're starting to grow and do their thing. Nowhere near close to having roses yet, but I'm excited to see where that goes. All right, I've just got a couple patches that are really so wet. And I think what I'm going to do is get out my Sharpie. Um, hmm. All right, so from tulips, um, actually, all right, you can't decide. I think I'm going to paint and then use a Sharpie over the top. I was thinking about using a Sharpie and then painting, but I don't. I don't know that I'll like that look very much. Um, so I'm going to get some white. Um, how about yellow? All right, so let's see. I'm gonna use white as my main color, and then I've got yellow and like a light yellow. My camera is driving me crazy today. It's on autofocus, and so anytime I move, it just does that weird focusy thing. All right, so I think what I'll do 
is just kind of go in with some abstract tulips. So I start with some white here. Now these could either be tulip buds or they could turn into tulip flowers, but I always do this middle piece first. And then I think on this one, I'm gonna have it be just a bud and then the other two will be blooming. So then what I'm gonna do is I'll tap it in this light yellow And then I am just going to pull up some of that light yellow into the center flower here. Just a little touch. It's hard to see on camera because it was so light. And then I'll come back with the regular yellow on those two. All right. And then for the outside, I'm just going to kind of swoop Well, these are not all that complicated shapes, um, so I'm just going to dry them and then I'm going to make them more graphic. So I'm going to add the stems and then I'm going to go over with Sharpie and just really make them uh, outlined and kind of fun. And the idea here with my demo day is I'm not really going to plan it out. I'm just going to get out my supplies and see where it takes me. But the idea here is just to have a good time, just to play with our supplies and enjoy the process. I have really been... Um, focus lately on the idea of um, art art being an important process and less focused on um, making money is this sellable is this you know am I leveling up my skills I, I don't want art to be something like that for myself because I don't enjoy it. So I've really been focusing on just enjoying where it is right now. I'm just kind of adding the tops of these stems here. Tulip stems are often very thick.
I'm using green gold, which is my favorite color. Green gold mixed with just a pinch of white. All right, again, I am going to dry this. to me. I absolutely hate when my camera does this. Anyway, I'm just going to keep going. It will refocus. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I want to make sure this, um, uh, the flowers and the stems. What is wrong camera? There we go. The flowers and the stems are completely dry before I add accents to it. So what I'm going to do now is work on a border and I've got this stencil brush um, and this, uh, this is um, archival ink. I love this stuff. I use it all the time and I'm just going to go through and kind of add some darkness around the edges here. I usually start in the corners and then kind of work it out from there. And when I pull this tape up, it'll make a nice soft edge. And since this is not paint, it does take a minute to kind of work it out. I could always use a dry brush technique with black acrylic paint as well. It's when I tap my, my ink pad, my dogs think somebody's knocking on the door.
So this will make a nice soft edge. And then, I don't know, I think I want to do even more. I'm going to grab this. This is Punchinella, um, which is just the, um, you can get this in the ribbon section, most often at Christmas time. Um, but I like to use it as a stencil. So I'm just going to, and you could use a stencil if you don't have Punchinella as well. I'm just going to bring some of these dots out. I'm going to stencil some dots just to kind of bring that texture out a little bit to make it a little more fun and playful. Right, so I like the way that looks and just to show you what happens when you pull up the tape so it just makes that nice clean edge it's gonna start making everything look like it belongs together Oops, I had a little bit in there I can clean that up, <clears throat> but isn't that a nice, pretty edge? And then, um, let's see, I think it needs a little more, so I'm going to add a stamp. So I've got this stamp here that says, so sweet. I've never used it, so I'm going to pull it out and get this stamp uh, and inking, and then I'll put it up here. This is turning into a cute little journal page. I like this. Now I think I'm just going to add some playful lines and let me zap this one more time just to make sure it's dry. probably being overly cautious, but I have ruined so many Sharpies by using them.
Oh, the stamp? I have no idea where I got it, but this is the set that it came in. Um, it's a Maggie Holmes Marigold set, and it came with, you know, a butterfly bee, just some fun little embellishments. So you could probably, f oh, it's an American Crafts. Um, so you'll probably find it if you just uh, did a search for American Crafts Marigold stamps. Um, yeah, but I really like this one that said so sweet. It's super cute. I've had it forever. And I just never pulled it out to use that one. I've used the bee. I've used the butterfly. But I have not used the... I like to make things a little more sketchy, so I'm just kind of going through here and adding some more lines. Put the fine Sharpie. And that is it. I think it's finished. I like it how it is. Maybe I'll go through. No, I like it. I was going to, I don't know. What do you think? I was thinking about taking my Sharpie and adding a thick black line around the edge. Or do you think it's finished as it is? What do you think? Black line or no black line? I never know what to do. No black line. All right. I think it's finished. I like it. So that was my super quick and easy demo. Um, I think it's fun. I've been kind of inspired by tulips. So I hope I have been able to inspire you today as well to create whatever you want. Um, if you do, I would love for you to tag me, show me what you make. And I will be back next Friday at the same time. Um, 11 a.m. Eastern for another uh, super fun demo. So I'll see you then. Thanks, everybody. And um, if you have not uh, done so already, I would love it if you would follow me on Facebook at Painted Cicada. Oh, excuse me, Painted Cicada. And uh, hopefully I will see you next week. Thank you so much for joining and have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>